Hello, this is a gross specimen of a cystically enlarged ovary and you can see here from uh, the centimeter scale that the maximal dimension of this ovary is actually greater than 12 centimeters. So we're looking at the cut surface and uh, from this direction we are actually looking into the inner lining of some of the cyst compartments or cyst locules. I'm going to turn this around and uh, we can see here the serosal surface or the capsular surface of the ovary and it is very smooth there are no obvious tumor masses or papillary uh, deposits on the serosa over here we can appreciate the fallopian tube at the fimbrial end and the fallopian tube itself and uh, we can see this a little bit better from this angle here is the fimbrial end of the fallopian tube and this is the tube so moving back to the cut surface, this is a multilocular cystic ovary. Multilocular means it's got multiple cyst compartments or locules. And when we are dealing with a cystic lesion, we need to look at the contents of the cyst as well as the cyst wall to see whether there are any solid areas or papillary areas. In terms of the content, actually all this has escaped at the time of dissection. However, I will show you another specimen where the contents are still partially intact. And you can see here in another example that some of the cyst locules contain this whitish thick mucoid material. This is thick mucin and this tells us that this is a mucinous cystic tumour of the ovary. And as mentioned, the other thing we want to look at is the actual cyst lining and uh, what we're looking for are solid areas, thickened areas or any obvious papillary masses or fleshy areas. And as I pan around, we can see that the cyst lining is still relatively thin in all the areas that we are examining. So this is likely to be a benign cystic tumour. And hence, because of the presence of mucin and the benign appearance, this is a mucinous cyst adenoma of the ovary. Mucinous tumors of the ovary are primary ovarian epithelial tumors, and these derive from Mullerian epithelium. The three main histologic types are serous, which is the commonest, mucinous, and endometrioid. And all of these can be benign, borderline, or malignant. So this is an example of a benign mucinous cyst adenoma. Now these are usually unilateral, and what we see are cysts that are lined by bland gastrointestinal type mucinous epithelium with quite abundant cytoplasmic mucin. And here you can see the cyst lining. The nuclei are all very basal, and it's a single layer of mucinous epithelium. Clinically, the patients may present with a pelvic mass and uh, the behavior is generally benign, although these tumors may sometimes recur, especially if there's spillage of the contents into the abdominal cavity. So in summary, this is a multilocular cystic tumor of the ovary and in the cyst locules in the fresh specimen, there would have been thick mucus or mucoid material. There are no solid areas or fleshy areas to suggest malignancy, and this is a mucinous cyst adenoma. I also recommend that you refer to the video of mucinous cyst adenocarcinoma or mucinous carcinoma. Thank you.